say they've been facing backlash after recent terror attacks in California and France. Today, a group of local Muslims came together to take a stand. Harry Boomer is live at 5 now with their story. Harry. With Tiffany and Tony, many in America are citing fear of another terror attack as a reason to keep Muslims from coming to America. But many Muslims already in America say they are feeling the heat for something they had nothing to do with. The American Muslims within the greater Cleveland area stands here before you today condemning all forms of terrorism and violence. Abbas Abdul Malik, the imam of the second oldest mosque in America, located right here in Cleveland, wants to make sure everybody understands how the anti-Muslim speech is affecting them. As a community, we must stand strong and united in hopes to find the root cause of these horrendous acts. Extremists are the root of these problems and the Muslim community is paying for it. Local men and women of the Muslim faith stood shoulder to shoulder decrying the broad breast stroke they say they are being painted with. They cite that there are 1.6 billion Muslims in the world and that less than 2% of them have committed acts of terrorism. My faith does not support these unjustified actions committed by extremists. It's frustrating to continuously apologize for crimes committed by individuals whom are halfway around the world. I, just like every other American, is in pursuit of establishing myself in this nation. They gathered today calling for peace and understanding and no profiling. People are fearful, uh, fearful of Muslims, but also Muslims are fearful for their families. Uh, I, I'm, I'm fearful for my daughter who works downtown. We are fearful for all people who look Muslims, including Sikhs. Well, as partial proof of the Muslim communities are being targeted, they say the Council on American Islamic Relations says there have been 71 attacks on Muslim mosques in America in 2015. There has been a spike since San Bernardino in Cleveland. Harry Boomer, Cleveland.